Bullous pemphigoid is the most frequent entity among autoimmune bullous skin diseases with a peak incidence in the seventh decade of life. Uh, regarding the increasing average age of our societies, an increasing number of patients has to be anticipated. With regard to comorbidity and co-medication in this sensitive group of patients, the uh, proper treatment is demanding. Uh, depending on the extent of skin disease and uh, the degree of inflammation, topical treatment may suffice, but in many cases systemic treatment has to be initiated. Systemic corticosteroids are the mainstay of treatment until today, uh, but uh, with, with regard to the uh, long-standing uh, side effects of corticosteroids, uh, steroid sparing agents, um, adjuvant agents have to be added. Among these, uh, the antibiotics tetracycline and the aminodisulfone or dapsone are an alternative well beyond their antibiotic property. Dapsone has only been studied in small clinical trials, case reports and case compilations so far. Therefore, a randomized clinical trial was started to compare the efficacy and safety of dapsone to azathioprine in combination with oral corticosteroids. This prospective, randomized, uh, multicenter, non-blinded uh, clinical trial compares the e efficacy and safety in two parallel groups uh, of BP patients treated with oral methylprednisolone 0.5 mg per kilogram body weight to azathioprine and uh, dapsone. Nine German and Austrian departments of dermatology included altogether 54 patients uh, with bullous pemphigoid based on clinical manifestations and data of direct and indirect immunofluorescence assays and ELISAs to detect circulating antibodies. Um, the primary endpoint was the time until tapering of uh, uh, systemic corticosteroid and the secondary endpoint was the cumulative corticosteroid dose. In eight patients, five on azathioprine and three on dapsone, methylprednisolone could be discontinued after 251 days for azathioprine and 81 days for dapsone. The medium cumulative dose for azathioprine was 2.65 grams and 1.91 grams for dapsone. The medium number of days on corticosteroids was 148 for azathioprine and 51 for dapsone. No significant difference uh, with regard to adverse events could be seen in the two treatment arms. Four patients died within the study period of 12 months, however unrelated to the drugs applied. Due to the lower than intended number of included patients, um, the data on primary and secondary endpoint were not only barely significant. However, Stepsone appeared to have a moderately higher corticosteroid sparing effect than azathioprine. The combination regimens of both drugs with oral prednisolone resulted in a relatively low one-year mortality within this uh, sensitive patient group.